All right, so this guy, he he totally, you know, it was the old school word. He bit my style, and this video just popped up. Um, but you see, I made a lot of videos yesterday. So anyway, um. This um, I'm telling you, it's not just because he he uh, bit me. You know that's old school, like you know break dance. You know I didn't wasn't a break dance, but you know uh, rap. You know the old school rap. He bit my lines, you know. Bit my rhymes, you know. He he's a biter. Oh, uh, or your style, your shoes, your Adidas, your your <laughs> Pumas. So anyway. Uh, like the, you know, or comedians, like say, you stole my joke. I knew this dude was a suspect. Really, uh, like I said, I never find none of these people, you know, I didn't type a certain thing, you know, conservative or liberal, none of that shit. With me, before I found out what gang stalking was, you know, mostly it was just whatever came up, my recommendations or, you know, I just look for funny shit, you know, uh, or either music, and mostly old school music, you know, whatever, old rap, old R&B, old rock music, you know, whatever, uh, old, anything old. Anyway, long story short, so normally, with nowadays, normally what I do is just uh, how I found a lot of these people I frequent is I just type in the situation that was on the regular news or either in the news feed on my YouTube or, you know, on TV or either on the lame stream, you know, on my laptop, you know, the Microsoft. And so, you know, it's going to have everything they have is, you know, negative and, you know, uh, feminist and, you know, so-and-so said this and, you know, and, and you know, uh, like one writer... I'm going off into another tangent before I even get started. One, that writer that quit from the Times, I think, I, I looked her up right because one of her articles was just so, that's why I don't know, but she had to quit. And, you know, not matter of fact, I think the guy I'm from the clown right now, he might have did an article about her, you know, because, you know, they call it the liberal eat their own. And literally, I remember weeks ago, I looked her up because I wanted, you know, it was I, was, I think I even looked up to see if she did anything on YouTube so I could just leave a comment. But I didn't feel like emailing her. You know, they got their email. Her name was like Joey King or what? No, not King. It was something. You can look. I mean, anybody can look it up. It was just last week or week before. You know, just writer quits. But I knew I recognized that name because her articles was, was like, you know, them articles where you want to just, how could you even lie like that? That, 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 it's just, the, it's literally, you know, that. It hurts being a female and a white female. It was more just, you know, anti-Trump and, you know, he's this and that and he's misogynist and he says this. And and it's just basically a lie. Like I said, everything he says that I know for a fact, you know, everyone that I've seen, the person was really a scumbag, a horrible person, horrible at your job. And no, there's no protection you know, like they again, shit that that he used to tell all of us, and it's not a lack of empathy. If you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. So you can't go into politics or any type of public service ambassador, and you can't take, oh, I'm a woman, or oh, I'm a black minority, or any minority. You can't take it, and you and they literally got like I said, I used to tell dudes I'm just working with, like dude, you if you if they're in the right, you know, they come at me, oh, these crackers, da 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 da. You know, we work in a job that's general labor. We ain't even, you know, they got people skilled, you know, forklift drivers. We're just there to, you know, general labor. But the point is, you see this dude, he's slacking, he's late. He's letting us down. It's, we're not slave drivers, you know. But that's, that's as you tell. At the time, I didn't know was they were trying to bring in socialism. Just get everybody lazy, just stay in and accept these this little bit of substance every month you know with the oh you must be like i said marx they said you know when you look at marx his his life that's what he was he was just lazy six year took six years to get out of college in the 1800s and he couldn't hack it in real life 
So he wrote this manifesto and all that shit. So anyway, they tried to tell, turn real people, you know, no matter what race, into Marxists. And we didn't know that. It's, you know, it's subliminal. They trying to, you know, uh, get it on. So anyway, anyway. So anyway, all, off on her. I, uh, I mean, I don't know if that's something to do with it. Because maybe they, this was recently. And I even looked, like I said, I looked her up on YouTube. And so it might have been like a month ago, a month or two. But now she quits because she can't take it. Y'all, all I know is I just looked up because I, I just wanted to, you know, a New York Times article made you want to throw up. You know, like, how could you even lie like that? I don't care what race you are or sex. How could you just lie like that? Just die, that. Anyway, uh, I don't even remember what article. Uh, all I know, like I said, I searched her before and it was just recently. All right, so anyway, this dude. He is claims to be, you know, against the, the liberal his, his channel. I'm going to show it to you. And I could tell something was screwy with this. Because this was just 30 minutes ago, 40 minutes ago. I had to take me a shower and shit like that. But uh, this guy, when I'm scrolling through, just see what's happening. It's Tuesday, you know, and let's see, you know, with, uh, you know, Congress or whatever, all that shit was going on and the jokes and, you know, these was, you know, maybe what happened when another nigga got shot at a BM limb somewhere, you know, or Antifa. Anyway, I'll, I'll just show it. As I'm scrolling through and you seeing the thing, you know, but well, let me switch hands. Ah, do the, the thumbprint bullshit. You know, so this, this is what I be seeing. It might have changed, you know, a reset. Yeah, I think it did. His thumbnail. Yeah, it reloaded. So. His thumbnail is, uh, I don't think he's in there no more. And I don't know how to get it back so you can see his, what I saw at first, and it was like, a, you know, that's what I'm saying. I see this, this stuff like this, because stuff, something might happen, an incident, you know, and uh, these channels will pop up because they're the ones covering it. So, uh, Yeah, it didn't, uh, but you can see it right there. That's it. it uh, and, uh, so anyway, I said, okay, cause, cause he's cursed and I know he doesn't curse on his channel here and, uh, not just in the, th in the, in the title, he doesn't curse. And he used in his little intro, he used a lot of words I use all the time in my title. You know, I just use the same words. And I know hilarious is not my word. I know I didn't invent that. But seriously, it's just, you know, you know, it's just, just some shit that dudes, dudes, usually when somebody, and he does, I'm sorry, he's not, he's just not a dude. You know, I don't care what race, you know, black, white, he's just not, you know, a man, you know. The way, what I'm saying is, he, he probably, I ain't saying he's gay. What I'm saying, he's just not the type that we're going to laugh. Like if somebody busts their ass right there, even then we see that they're not hurt. You know, he probably would laugh, but I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's, he's not that type of guy. And this, I even checked him, you know, I just left a comment because I started noticing, like, two after the riots, he you started using the, the phrase systemic racism. I just left a comment, like, I mean, I don't even care if he has a lot of followers. That's not the point. I just wanted the, you know, the gang stalker leaders, or if they had got to him or if he, if he already was one, that's maybe how he got put into my recommendations you know that he's a phony you know he's probably maybe one of these antifa kids and th uh you know and he i'm like you played yourself bro you know or either you don't you really fell for this bullshit i'm like there's no such thing right now as systemic racism because he's trying to say you know basically or either he punked out and it was like, yeah, it is. A, we got to fit this problem of systemic racism. But he's trying to say, yeah, but the riots, there's no need. They're, they're not protesters. This is just straight up riots. And uh, 
just listen to him. I'm like, and I like, no, no, dude, don't don't start that systemic racism shit. This that's bullshit, man. I know right now you're compromised, though. You was always on that side. This has nothing to do with racism. You're supposed to be you. He he sounds smart, so you know about communism, fascist, socialism. You know that these motherfuckers are socialists. This has nothing. And that was just the catalyst they used to, to get to get the unrest and get in power. Has nothing to do with George Kirby. None of that shit. So anyway, I get to this point. I knew it was sounding kind of shady. The cover specifically targeting the Joe Biden campaign, making a different video. But once I saw all of Hollywood backing them up, they still struggle to get over the mound. But I have to show you guys this story. It's completely hilarious. In fact, I was making a different video. But once I saw this news, I said, okay, I got to jump on that for tomorrow. So we've got 2020 political now. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to start another video and put this at the beginning.